Well, it says on the computer I'm supposed to talk about qualifying targets, so I will. So I looked around the guest bedroom and I found this prop. This is a basket. It's a beautiful basket, actually. Very tightly woven. Very pretty on the inside, as you can see. Pretty on the bottom. Funny thing is, I can't tell you whether it's a good basket or not. I can say it's pretty. And I can tell you that if you had some tickets you were collecting, here's some tickets that I found in it and you wanted to drop them and store them someplace, the basket's good for that. It's kind of like that when you're qualifying targets. Really depends on what you're looking for, doesn't it? So we go back to where we started and remember our synergies and the gaps and all of that stuff. And we're, we need the target to be able to do certain things. So we look at them and we try and figure out whether they can do it. Well, the first thing we can do is say, are they close to the customer? Because we ideally would like a target who can help us sell something and know something about the market. So we can look at who they're selling to and what their sales record is. And we can find out if their customer base includes the customer segments that are likely to be interested in our technology. Another thing we'd like that target to have is some smarts about what we're doing so we don't have to spend a lot of time training them and retraining them to understand our technology. That's called absorptive capacity. In other words, do they have scientists and engineers on staff, sales engineers, who understand the kind of stuff we do? If they do, that's a plus. Then I want to make sure that they have other kinds of capabilities that are relevant for what I'm doing. In other words, suppose I'm trying to measure the distance to the wall. I'm not going to bring in optical measurement technology to a company that only does acoustics. They don't have the absorptive capacity, for one, to understand and sell it. They may not have the equipment in place and other things, which are part of that absorptive capacity, to support it either. So i got to worry about those kinds of issues as well. So I start looking for information about that technology, or rather about that company, vis-a-vis -vis my technology. How do I find that information? Well, we're back to going to the website, talking to people. If they're publicly traded, they uh, file, uh, fi they make filings, rather, with the Securities and Exchange Commission in the U.S. And I can go to the SEC website and look at Edgar, which is their database, and read what they say about themselves. There's a variety of sources for getting information on companies. I'm going to give you another good one. Go to the investment uh, uh, data on the web. Look at how pe various people who track uh, companies for investment purposes write up the people you're thinking of for a target. Call a few of them. They'll talk about them. They love to talk about that kind of stuff, these analysts who track uh, companies for investment purposes. They're thinking maybe they'll sell you some stock. Um, even if you tell them you're primarily interested in licensing technology. Besides, they're looking for tips. They're like, ooh, that's interesting. So it's relatively easy to get the information to qualify to companies. The other thing you do, quite frankly, when you're trying to qualify a company is pick up the phone and talk to them. Talk to people in business development or sales, manufacturing, whatever's really relevant for you and ask them about their firm and if they think they'd be a good target for you. Usually people will tell you. The interesting thing is I've talked to CEOs of very large companies, you know, Fortune 500 companies, they happen to get them on the phone and we're talking, I'm saying, you interested in there? They're like, no, not my thing. And I always ask them, who else might be interested in this? Say, well, Charlie, who runs that company over there, he might be interested, or Mary, who runs this one over there, she may be interested. So I call up Charlie or Mary and say, you know, this person from this other company said to call you, and that gets me through the gates, keepers who are trying to push me away so I can't get to them. The flag catchers, actually, we like to call them. And um, finally, I get to that person, and when I tell them that they said to call them, they're very talkative. So anyways, that's how you qualify companies. You just sort of figure out what you're really looking for, and you look at both the public sources, and you talk to people and see if they have it. Pretty simple and straightforward, actually. Talk to you later.